Many of us grew up on dairy products. It is one of the most widely used products throughout the world, being a crucial ingredient to the majority of food we eat today. Manufacturing dairy products is a very serious and developed business globally. Cow milking has a long history and its technology has evolved throughout the centuries. In today's video, we will talk about modern cow milking technology and everything you need to know about it. Before we get into the video, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you do not miss any of our new videos that we post. First, let us talk a little bit about the history of cow milking. It is hard to imagine our past without dairy products, but believe it or not, it has only been six to 10,000 years since people first started drinking cow's milk. Milking technology was very simplistic when it first took off. People would just use their own two hands and a bucket. As the dairy became so widely used, mechanization became crucial to catch up with the high demand for milk. The first mechanical milking machine was developed as early as 18 1870. However, it was not very advanced. It is safe to say that it was like a torture machine. They would use tubes that were inserted into the cow's udders, forcing them to open and draw milk out of the glands. In many cases, it would be very painful for cows and even would cause irreversible injuries. Decades later, this technology showed many improvements and changes in the approaches of the milking. There were other models developed that using mechanical pressure would mimic a natural hand milking or a calf sucking process. They would use a vacuum for that. As it turned out, the vacuum model was the most successful and promising one. We are even still using it today, but slightly modified. The old version would often cause bleeding from the nipple, but nowadays modern vacuums allow the teats to refill with milk before the next suction, so the capillaries don't get damaged. In 1922, Herbert McCormick invented the surge milker, which is an advanced version of a previously invented pulsating vacuum. The first model would just lay on the ground, limiting the cow's movements, but the later version would hang from the cow by a strap that would wrap around its body, enabling the cow to move freely. What is more, the tubes in these modern surge milkers are much shorter, which means less risk of contaminating the milk. Now let us talk more about the modern milking technology and methods. Nowadays, we have three main types of modern milking parlors, herringbone, parallel, and rotary milking parlors. The parallel parlor has cows aligned in the perpendicular line in front of each other, and the suction tubes are placed directly behind the cow. The herringbone parlor is very similar to the parallel parlor. Position of the cow is the only difference here. The herringbone parlor cows are positioned at a rectangular angle. Experts believe that this method is more inconvenient than the parallel parlor, because it is difficult to control each cow and milking machine, especially in larger parlors, where two rows may be needed to be placed. The best milking parlor of cows in large dairy farms is the rotary parlor. It is a rotating machine which speeds the process of putting on and changing of the suction tubes. This platform rotates around so quickly that there is only 14 seconds to clean and dry the teats and then attach the suction tube. Next, we will talk about the newest evolving technology, which is called the robotic milking. The robotic milking, also referred to as the automatic milking system, was first introduced in Europe in 1992. The main goal was to deal with labor issues on dairy farms. It became popular in the United States in 2000 and has been evolving ever since. Can you imagine a farm where cows have the autonomy of their own daily routine? Sure, it really does sound like heaven. This method minimizes any kind of human-animal interaction and makes the whole experience for cows less stressful and more enjoyable. What do we mean by saying that cows have autonomy? It means that they do not have to stick to any kind of schedule. They don't have to be milked two or three times a day for a specific amount of time, like in modern milking parlor systems that we discussed. They can themselves decide when they wish to be milked. It may be twice a day or even more, like four to five times a day. Studies have shown that this kind of approach is way more profitable as the amount of milk produced has been drastically increased. Even when cows only average 2.8 times a day, the total amount of milk is still much higher than it was using other methods. What's more, the quality of the milk has also shown to be much better. It is no doubt that a happy and relaxed cow produces 
milk with much better quality. Blackburn-based farmer Chris Barg says to the interviewer, If you are only allowed to go to the toilet twice a day, it would cause considerable pain. Frequent milking is even better for cow's health. It makes the cow so much more relaxed, and you see their characters come out because it's not such a mad rush to parlor. It's like us going on the road during rush hour time compared with driving on a nice country road. The whole system is quite smart. Once the cow decides to be milk, it goes into the milking area where the robot identifies the cow by its tag. If the same cow had already been milked recently, the robot lets it out. If not, the gates close. The laser closely identifies the nipples and closely adjusts the milk pump as gently as possible. So everything makes the cow's experience very comfortable. Ian Onstead, director of the dairy group and a specialist in milking technology, says that two main reasons why farmers prefer robotic milking is the higher amount of milk produced and also lower workforce costs. There are many other advantages, like more flexible schedules for farmers, so they can focus on other work on the herd, and it just makes farmers happier to see their cows smile. Next, let us discuss the myths about robotic milking. Robotic milking has shown great success around the world, but like it usually happens, there have been some myths spreading around. Let us discuss just some of them in our video. Number one, robots won't be conformed by cows. As practice showed, this is very false. Cows actually feel way more comfortable around these robots than around humans. They seem way happier and relaxed when they don't have humans interfere with their daily life. Number two, robots will never be as consistent as humans. This is also very false. Not not every human will perform a task in the exact way. Robots have shown their consistency in milking throughout the decades. They have to make the same sequential tasks all the time. If there is an issue, milking robots don't miss a chance to inform the farmer. How can humans beat that level of consistency? Number three, cows waste way more food when they are fed by robots. This is also false because robots customize the exact amount of energy cows need and don't waste any more than that. Number four, the robotic milking system won't work on large farms. This is not true. Practice has shown that this system works on every single farm regardless of size. About 5% of UK farms already use this system. What's more, robotic milking constitutes more than 30% of all the milking systems that are purchased. As it turns out, robotic systems have shown improvements in most of them. It's not the size that matters. The more important is the quality this system has. The technology has moved on tremendously in the last 10 years, Onstead says. The systems are now very reliable and efficient. Number five, the robotic milking is only affordable for the rich. Sure, the robotic milking system is a big investment, but many companies provide a variety of more affordable options for small farms that are more adjustable to their budget. So it is just an excuse that small farms can't afford it. Again, investment is big, but it's not a lot compared to the gain. Robotic milking is definitely the future of farming. We can safely say that it will evolve even further in the future. There are so many advantages all together, and life for farmers is made easier. What could be better? There is still a little obstacle though. This one has nothing to do with the technical or economical part. It's just that many farmers enjoy what they do and love to get their hands dirty and spend more time around cows. If you look at the driving motivation of many dairy farmers, part of the job that they enjoy is the contact with the cows, Onstad says. But with robotic milking, the actual milk extraction extraction process becomes a background activity. So, despite the fact that this new technology definitely makes things easier, it kind of took away the joy that was so precious to many of the farmers. As we saw, this job does not require much of human interference, but this does not mean that farmers can just lay around and relax behind the curtains. Robotic farming is a version of the future, Onstead says, not the solution for every dairy farmer. They need to be consistently monitoring and engaged with the cows. As Chris Barg says, Said, it makes good cowmen better and bad cowmen worse. On this note, we end our video. This is our brief discussion of cow milking technologies. There are way more to learn. Do not hesitate to leave a comment down below and press the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.